Hi everybody, it's Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio here. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. It is the first day of fall, or the last day of summer. It's the 21st of September, which is a whole other song. And tonight we're going to do a little bit of something on wood. We've been doing lots of wood cutouts since I got my fun little mystery box with so many things in it. This was not in the mystery box, though. This is something else that I've got. And I got it, and it's actually... I'm going to just hit that right there so I can see it. If you hop on, I'd love it if you say hi and I can see your comment. And tell me where you're watching from. Hey, Steve, thank you. I appreciate that. I can see that right there. That's perfect. Thank you. I know I'm on the right page at the right time at the right place, huh? Anyway, I've got this cute cut out here. And as you can see, you know, right away your first thought is, is this is the elf or Santa. I think it's an elf in Santa's bag. But, I had other ideas for it. I have other plans. I think maybe it's a witch in a cauldron. How about that? That's what I'm going to do with it tonight. I'm going to make a witch in a cauldron with this. So, I'm going to tilt you down, and we're going to go ahead and get started. It's just going to take a few paints, not too many. Let me zoom you in a little bit here so you can see what I'm doing. And get it a little further up on camera. Okay, that looks pretty good. So as you can see, I've already got it all drawn and traced on here. And this right here, I'm just going to make this part right here is going to be her dress and cape that's just all kind of folded up around her there. And then we've got the bubbles and all that stuff, some striped socks and a pair of boots down here, some little black shoes and a black cauldron. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with doing the little boots. So I'm going to get my black out. Probably be using quite a bit of this tonight. And I'm just going to be using my little flat brush here for this just to work on these little boots here. So I'm just going to dip straight into the black with my flat brush. And her little booty's just going to come straight across here. And then I'm going to bring it down and around right here. Just making that go around. Just like that. And I'm going to bring it down the back. And I'm going to make a heel right here. And the bottom of the boot right there. We're just going to fill this in with the black right here. And I'm going to make this just curl up and around right through here. And up like this. And then we'll add a little bit of white in there to uh, make that show up from a distance better. Once we get this to dry right here. And I'm just going to smooth that down just a little bit. And of course I'm going to get it around the edges because you always want to make sure that you're getting it there. Hey Rick, thanks for joining me. I appreciate that. Hope you're having a good night. It's awfully warm tonight, but I guess we should appreciate that while it's here. From my understanding, it's going to get quite chilly tomorrow. Well, not chilly. It's going to be fall, that's for sure. It's warm right now, though. Or at least here in Cincinnati it is. I'm pretty sure it's probably warm in Indiana, too. I'm just taking this around the edges down here where the bottom of her shoe would be. And I'm going to bring it right along the bottom here. Where this... Right up along the back. To the top of her boot. Across here. This is a big shoe. Got a big boot over here on this side. This is a big boot. That's all right. 
though. Maybe this witch has one big foot. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Make any story you want to go along with it. It's all up to you. Now, I do have a few of these cutouts if anybody would be interested in these, either as an elf or as the witch. Heck, if you really wanted, I could do double-sided for you. One on each side, and then that way it would be quite the seasonal door hanger that could be... Make the mistake, well, heck, just let it dry and paint over it. Better start being a little more careful over here. I'm getting it on this side now. But that's okay. This needs to be painted right here anyway. Hey, thanks, Rick. I appreciate that. I had to look up every once in a while and see if there's comments because I'm sort of just focused down real for it, of course, too. But I'm going to post the pictures on the page of the beautiful job that everybody did. They all turned out. I mean, it's 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 a design by line cut with the design in it. But they all do them so differently. It's always so interesting to see how everybody's going to do it. Because everybody's got a different thought on how theirs is going to look. I love it. Keeps it interesting, that's for sure. Hey, it looks like it's one of those kind of nights where I'm losing signal. Is that what's going on here? I just happened to look up and saw it saying, trying to reconnect. Am I on? here. I'm going to keep painting, guys. Hello again. <laughs> I don't, are you here? I think you're here. It's doing something crazy. Well, I'm, I'm going to keep painting. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I don't know what else to do and just hope that it works itself out. It did this one time before. Once before, back in the spring, well, maybe that wasn't spring. Earlier this year, though, I was doing, and I remember it, I was, yeah, it was Father's Day. Because I was doing the Father's Day painting of the dad and the boy in the fishing lake. And it was just going wacko. And that might be what's happening again tonight. And I don't know what causes that, to tell you the truth. I don't, I don't know what's going on with the internet. We got 5G here, so you would think I should be able to connect at any time. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I'm just going to keep painting. I'm just painting around what's going to be bubbling up out of this cauldron here. On her dress. Well, at least it's still showing it. Hopefully we can get through here. Let's see, this is gonna be black right in here. Let me see, I'm gonna lean up and look. Right up to there. Okay. Bring it around right in here. I'm just kind of leaving little circles for the for the uh, bubbles, for the cauldron bubbles. Because of course, as we know, all witches bubble bubble cauldron. We're just going to fill it in here. Try to give her her uh, cape and her dress some uh, 
folds in it is what I'm doing doing right through here. I'm going to do the insides of that with some purple. The inside of the fold. And then we'll do a couple little highlights on that too, just to make it pop a little bit better. Gonna give her some striped socks here in just a moment. And I'm thinking, well, since I'm thinking about making the cauldron with this apple tart color, I guess I will make the stockings with some, uh, orange and black so that we've got some more different colors than just green and purple and black and white. Bring this right over in here. So that means it's going to come right around this edge. that. Across the, I'm just looking up to see if I'm actually still connected, guys. It seems like each time I look up, I'm trying to connect and get me all crazy. And I won't be able to pay. I'll be worrying about whether or not I'm actually online or not online so i'm just not going to worry about it i'm just going to paint and we're just going to see what happens if if you get to see the video or if you don't get to see the video we'll we'll find out in the end when i go to upload the crazy thing we'll know what happened then well until then i'm just going to paint away okay i'm going to get this right over here on the edge Um, let me see. Give me just a second here. I think. See if that did. Did that work? We're trying to work on our internet here, our connection. Am I on? I'm still on. Huh? That wasn't correct? Here, let me try it again. Hold on, guys. How did you get completely unconnected? I think I'm still on. Although I don't know what's going on here. Let me try this. Huh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see in the end, huh? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and stripe up our socks. So I'm just going to bring this right across here. Here. Let's see, this will be right from here over.
get it on the sides here a little bit. This one's a smaller stripe. There we go. Okay, I think there's one little bitty spot right in here that I gotta get. Let's see if we can... Right there. And I'm gonna outline that so I'm not gonna completely fill that in. Leave it just a little stripe. Okay, so this is gonna be right here. right there. I'm going to use that smaller brush to do that stripe that's going right in there. That'll be a small stripe for sure. That one's getting too big. Fill that right there. Get this right here. And I will have to touch those up with the orange. I can see that right there. Okay. This is going to go right over here. Our internet might be out, it looks like. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. So I'm just I'm just gonna keep painting. This is gonna go right here. Right next to this. That's where her next little stripe on her stockings will be. Quite a bit of black on this, huh? I'm just gonna keep going with it. Why not? It's going to be black right here. It's going to go all right down through here. We've got the, the bubbling witch's brew out of the cauldron just spilling over the top of it. bit higher right in here, right in here, and we'll give this cauldron some highlights and stuff on it once we get to go in here. to touch it. <laughs> touch it, I'm afraid it'll die. And it looks like it's working right now, so I'm afraid to touch it. Afraid that it's just gonna get messed up. Think I'm back. He's going to kick in even if my internet's not. My Wi-Fi, I mean. I don't know what is going on. Just keep on thinking. Uh-oh, I'm going to start singing. Ain't nobody going to listen for that, huh? <laughs> yeah, I might end up on a gong show or something like that. That'd be about it. up in Facebook jail. Don't 
don't want that. Are we back on again? I don't know. It says it's trying to connect. I'm not sure. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to let it steal my joy. I'm just going to keep on painting and enjoying it. That's all I can do. Right? I don't know what's going on downstairs. I can hear all kinds of music. Not music, I mean notification sounds. Ooh, I don't know what that noise is. Bit of a high pitch. Hope you all aren't hearing that. Kind of doubt that you are. I'm not sure where that's coming from. I am not sure. Must be the aliens are out tonight. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows what's going on here? go around the edge here. With this black. Just get it covered good. Okay. Put this back over here. When I first that put that black out, I thought, oh, that might be too much. Actually, I've used every bit of it up at this point. through there. Get this little bit right in here. Just fill this in real fast. Are we still going? I think so. I think so. I apologize, guys. I don't know. It's never no fun when it does this crazy stuff, huh? That's all right. We're going to keep on just keeping on. There we go. Okay, I think I'm going to come back down on this end. Straighten this up a little bit. That should be that sock right there. This has got just a little bit too much paint on the edge. I'll smooth it down a little. Just like that. Okay. Let me rinse my brush and we're going to get a little bit of orange out. don't think I'm going to need too awfully much. Although it looks like it might actually even take a second coat for that. You never know though, once it gets going here, it might be perfectly fine. It might just look thin right here. Get it down over this edge. And over here. That doesn't look bad at all. We can do this one. I do believe I am still online. But I cannot tell as my computer will not hook up now. Which I'm not sure why. I thought it would be able to with, without it, but I guess not. Who knows? I don't know. I am definitely no internet guru, that's for sure. I know how to hit that go live button. And I know how to make a reel. 
<laughs> so, so there we go. I can do a couple of things. I know how to make a couple of things happen. Yeah, I might want to get a different brush for this part. Maybe clean this one off and just do that real quick. Get that black off of there. Just a moment. Beat the devil out of it. <laughs> I think that's what Bob Ross used to say. Beat the devil out of it. Just beat the devil out of that brush. Yep, that'll make it a much quicker job there, won't it? Just take this brush right here and just pull it across. Now, those aren't exactly perfect on the sides, but I am not going to worry about that too much. There we go. a little better. Bring it over the edge. Bring it over the edge. Little, little spots. Let's try this one. Yeah, that went on pretty good. Let me do that again. go. Let's try you. Let's get a little more orange on there. That's a little more saturated looking at My first thought I'm looking at this and my first thought is she's wearing her bingle socks. <laughs> it's her Halloween socks too, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm just over here being silly. Okay, let me get a little more orange over here. Thank you. I don't know if it's been working this whole time or not. I'm not sure. I'm just painting. Just trying to just do anyway. Hey, Alicia. I see that. Hey, thanks for joining me. I appreciate that. I was just talking before uh, about that Hello Fall activity. How pretty those were. Okay, we're just... I don't know if I've been on this whole time or if it just popped back on or what's going on. Our internet is doing something goofy tonight. That's for sure. But then again, why not? Like everything else, huh? Why not? Let me just put a little more right in here. And then she's got another orange stripe up here at the top. I'm just going to bring right around through here like that. over the edge. Get it right in this little corner right here. Don't want to get too sloppy. Okay, I'll take it over here. This, this here stocking is crooked, that's for sure. But I guess that doesn't matter. If you're stuck in a cauldron, maybe you haven't got your stockings on just straight, huh? Maybe you might get your stockings in a bunch. 
So maybe that's what's happening to this poor deer. This poor deer witch that's that's befallen upon bad times at this moment and ended up in this cauldron of bubbling brew. <laughs> okay. Get that right there. I'm trying to decide. This would be a little bit of orange right in right here then. But this would be... Oop, watch out, Janet. You're getting sloppy. So this would be right in here. Another part of her stocking. There we go. Get all of the stuff. Okay. Making them on both sides. Hey, just a little touch right there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put some little buckles on her boots. With this orange. And that should be simple enough. I'm just going to make a line that comes here. There we go. Do the same thing right here. Tapping my brush against it. Okay. Now, of course, my buckle has to go across the front then, too, doesn't it? Put it right here. And right there. Okay, let me turn it around and look at this boot. Got a piece of paper sticking up in it. And that's going to go right here. And right there. Maybe just give that a little bit more. And a couple of little spots because that little flat brush kind of smashed it down a little bit and I want it to stand up a little higher. Let me tilt this one and look at it. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing real quick right there. Just add a bit more to it. Right like that. Okay, so now we've got our, our little boots all painted. So we're going to put some purple on the inside of our skirt. Rinse this off again. I just need the littlest bit of purple for this. so that it makes more, that it looks right, so it looks more like a fold, because that might just look odd right there. And this one's coming down right like this. looking on the inside of she's got a, a purple lining on the inside of her cape and that's what you're looking at here in the folds it's that purple lining in I 
that's our stocking right there. Here. This one comes down right there. So I, don't, I wonder how much of this actually has been captured. Well, I was really having some trouble there to start. I don't know what in the heck our internet was doing, or Wi Fi, whatever. Wasn't hooking up, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay. right here just draw a little fine line to show how it's curving right here Oops, I got some of that right on that shoe, didn't I? Mm -mm -mm. That needs to curve a little more. That's right up through here. Just like that. Now. I don't know if you can see there right now. You can see it a little bit better. You can see the folds and the and the cape as she's going down into the cauldron. Okay. So we're just going to rinse that off. And we're going to get us out some of this apple tart. This little brush right here. And I'm just going to start filling in all of this boiling cauldron brew. And that's what it is. It's a witch's brew. I'm going to fill in this brew that's going over the edge of it here. Bubble it up. In the bubbles. And then we'll highlight these guys. And then here down at this part, we're going to make the drips. Take a little bit of dark green after this and just give it some, some shading underneath. And that'll make such a big difference. It'll make it really kind of pop out where the bubbling stuff is. I love this apple tart color. Thought about doing the socks with uh, green and black. And then I thought, oh, that's going to be too much green. You're not going to have any orange at all then if you do that. And I wanted to incorporate some of the orange in there. You know, I mean, 
get some more of the Halloween colors. I want it to be colorful. I like things colorful. And I know sometimes you try to do things with as few of colors as possible, but I don't know. Comes to Halloween. Ah, it's off limits, huh? Gonna make it real colorful. Use all those good Halloween colors. Bubbling up out of that top of that pot. this over the edge right here. And then we got it coming down over here. looking up trying to see because my computer still hasn't uh hasn't caught up to me here it's it's gone off off on its own doing its own thing but that's okay i can still kind of look up and see the the phone and see if anybody's making a comment or anything and that way i know what's going on i'm gonna make this one come down there and it's gonna come down this side. A little bit longer too. About like that. It's bubbling and boiling all over the place. Just making a mess now that this witch has got herself in there. So yes, the title, The Witch is In, is perfect for this. The Witch is In the Cauldron. The Witch is In. And so I thought that was kind of cute to go with this. Actually, that could be written down here on the pot. The Witch is In. Or you could write, Happy Halloween, or... Any of that stuff. I put a spell on you. I, th I still think the witch's in is, is, is the best. That one fits perfect with it. The witch's in. She's definitely in there. The witch is in. No doubt about it. Such a nice sickly green. <laughs> I love it. And then we're just going to kind of mush it in here in spots to give it texture. Just texture it up some. I'm going to need a little bit more. I got dots to make that are bubbling up. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little frog in my throat. I didn't bring me any water or anything up here with me. And I'm just a little bit thirsty. And I'm just kind of looping this on there. Just kind of globbing it on. Making it textured looking. And I'll hold it up for you in just a second here so you get a better idea of what it looks like. Just a moment. Lob that one up right there. Okay, so. You can kind of see the texture on there now, how I've got it real thick on there. So it's like kind of globby, but not, not gloopy, but it's, it's thick on there. There's some real thick paint that I got on there. So it's looking very textured. Very, very textured. 
Now, let's see if this will work. I'm going to try a Q-tip. Let's try this. Well, that made a pretty good circle if you ask me. Up. <coughs> I need a little frog in my throat. That's what happens when you paint witches in the cauldrons, huh? You, you end up with a frog in your throat. What else could you expect, huh? It's only fitting. Can't mess with the big witches, you better sit on the porch. Yeah, you can't fly with the big witches, that's what it would be. You can't fly with the big witches, you better sit on the porch, girl. We'll just make a little one. Maybe another little one. Just sort of floating up. A little bubble down here. It's bubbling up, bubbling over. Doot, doot. Just add a little doot to it. So the bubbles coming up. Okay, now I'm just going to get rid of this. I don't need that Q-tip. I'm going to get a little bit of white here, and I'm going to put it in these areas around the boot. So that from a distance it will still maintain the look of the boot. I do see a little bit of orange right there and I'm just going to take paint on my finger like a little kid and finger paint right over top of that. There we go. Get a little white. Actually, I might do better to use this one. White's thick. Start in here. And I'm just gonna fill this in around the boot. This little curl at the top. If I can get that white paint to stick, what are we doing here? There we go. Now that's better. That looks a little more even. Here. Get the white over on this side. And then I'm going to put it down here in between the heels.
That should do that real well right there. Do the same thing right here. Straighten that heel out right there. She kind of got a chunky heel thing going on here. New kind of boot style. She's wearing chunky heels. Okay. We'll do the same thing right here. Just make a little... circular area. Bring it up. Look at this edge. Okay. Do this little bit right here. We did a really fun thing over the weekend. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Clued Up Games. It's a, um, it's like a, a game that you play in your town you download this app, you buy a game, first you buy a ticket to play the game. We played Alice in Wonderland this weekend, and it was great. You, um, you bought a ticket, and you got yourself a team of friends together, and um, you download an app onto your phone, and on the designated day, now you have to do it on the specific day that, the, uh, that they're doing it, that they're running the game. I think they're doing one... And Hamilton next. You could look it up, Clued Up Games. And uh, it's really fun. You download this app, and then you like, we went downtown, and it started out at, at the PG uh, Green Lawn. And we went from there. You walk all around, all over the place, following clues on your phone and finding all kinds of different things and different. Um, you find like all these different characters and stuff like that. But the funnest part of it is everybody that's down there, they encourage you to dress up. So there was so many people downtown running around in these Alice in Wonderland costumes. It was really cool. I mean, it was really, it was very, very fun to see everybody down there with all these wild costumes on. There was, you know, so many mad hatters. And they were fantastically dressed, too. I mean, it was very impressive. Very impressive. And you can win, like, awards for the best dressed team and things like that and it, it lasted a few hours actually down there running around trying to save alice and we want our team our, it's sort of like an escape room type thing and our team did successfully do it we we, we were a success we were able to save alice which is highly important must save alice Okay, so now the boots show up even better from a distance. Hmm. Looks a little odd, doesn't it? That's all right. We're going to take this white right here. And we're just going to take it and highlight right down here on her boot. That's what to look thick and chunky right there. I'm gonna scrape that off. And this one will come right here and then down this way at the bottom of her heel. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna let it pull me in. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that pull me in. Across the top of her boot. Put a little fun stripe down her leg, on the inside, turn it around here, put one right on 
this side, one right on that side. Put the folds on her. I'm gonna have to rip this little piece of paper out. It's messing up stuff. You've got to go. Come on now, little brush. Thank you. He's thinking, don't do me like that. That way the folds will show up just a little bit better on there. You can see the folds on her dress. Okay. And then on the top of the each of these, we're going to put a blob of white. Right on the top. Wow! What in the heck? things flying off the shelves back here. I don't know. I think the witches must be after me. They are not in liking what I'm doing tonight, huh? I'm, I'm conjuring up something over here. Doesn't appear to be good. It's flying off the shelf and hitting me. Internet's going in and out. It's been the craziest day, you guys. I'm telling you, it really has. It's been a crazy day. When I first left, left the house this morning, I got down by the little elementary school Fire trucks were all down there. Took forever. Finally got past that area. Got further down, decided since everybody was going down one direction, I'd go down the other direction. Got down by Kroger's. <laughs> there wasn't the police and ambulances down there giving somebody CPR. It was like, oh my goodness. They've been busy all day when I came home from work. Fire trucks are flying up and down the road. Police flying up and down the road. I think there's a fire. They said something about a fire on Glenway Avenue. Um, apartment buildings burning. and I don't know what all. It's just wild. It's just wild. Maybe we'll put a little line right across the bottom of her shoe. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to just do a little bit of a highlight on the tops of these bubbles that are bubbling up right here. And there'll be a couple of other little bubbles that you don't really see yet, but they'll be there. Maybe this one's light's a little Just kind of putting a little bit of white on the sides. And then maybe just say, well, there'll be one right there. Maybe there'll be one here. And we'll put one right in there. Right in the front right there. And then we'll have a little bit of a coloring right up in this part. Just highlighting it a little bit. Out like that. Maybe a little bit 
it right on the front edge of it. See how all those little white lines just help things pop out just a little bit more. You think, oop, am I overdoing it? No, not really. The more of those little white lines that you add, the more interesting it becomes. Let's make up another blob. Goes up right here. couple more blobs just slippering down. About like that. Just some extra white lines going down to show just another layer, just another layer of it wobbling down on the top of it. You can even put another one over here just making little white lines. And then over here, we're going to make a little line that goes this way right here. It's going to show of our cauldron. Just like that. Put a little fun line right down here. Right down there. And the sides of the cauldron's top. Had it kind of curving in and it's kind of curving out. And then where's my dark green? Here we go. Just a smidgen of that. Just wipe that off. Don't gotta worry too much about rinsing off white. It's not gonna mess too badly with your other colors. I'm gonna take my dark green and I'm gonna put it underneath each one of these. Just bringing it down here. Give it a little bit more of a standing off of the edge of the pot appearance. A shaded area actually is what it's creating, a shading. this one. There we go. Make that a little 
thicker. All the way down under it. some in between where the little balls would be. Just kind of underneath the area. And then some dark spots that gives the see how it's helping the bubbles look by just adding little bits of dark green at the bottoms of it and in between them see how that looks and adding just a dark line under the side opposite of where I put the white line that just helps give it give it some dimension. Just like in here, I can put dark right underneath where I put these white lines. I put a little dark right underneath there. Just to help it stand out a little bit more that it's another layer on the top. spots in there. Run around through the bottom here and over the top of that. Right across through there, around here. Then you turn it just a little bit. Just create little more areas where there might be another little bubble possibly just sort of beginning to bubble up in this area and darkness in that area and fill that back in there just little areas that you're just sort of just building layers bring that around bring this around there darkness underneath All the way up this side. All underneath. Get some right in here. Not like that. And then we're going to take this and make us a dark line underneath each one of these little bubbles that have floated up. sort of opposite where we put the white. On each one of our little bubbles that's floating up.
see how they turned out. How it looks. I think it looks really cute. I really like that. I think it turned out really cute. Now another thing we can do is let me find just a little bit of bit of this red. We'll make some little red flames just flicking up through here. Because if this pot is boiling over like that, I'm assuming there must be a fire underneath it somewhere, huh? We'll just throw a little red in here. Splat it a little bit across the bottom. Snag a little bit of orange. red. getting the flames to show up a little bit better. So I was thinking the orange would give it a little bit of another coating underneath for coloring. All right. Now we've got the fire underneath her. I think I'm done, guys. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else I need to do to her. I kind of like it just the way it is. Hope you enjoyed this. I think I might even take some uh, orange off some of this right here and then scruff it up down at the bottom here let me see where's my scissors I take a piece of this about that long you probably can't see what I'm doing I'm just cutting a piece here just a piece of the mesh stuff and I could take it and twist it around like that. Now once this is dry of course and I can put it at the bottom and it would look like we've got more of a fire thing going on down here at the bottom. See how that could look? This can't really tell it right now but once it's dry I know what I can do with this right here, twisting it and then adding it down here at the bottom of it with some hot glue and then that'll look like fire and logs underneath it. So that's what I'm going to do for the bow for is just fix this right here just like this, basically twisted it up. I'm going to hot glue it right at the base of this. And that's that. She's a done deal. So. Hey, Tammy. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you joining me. I, ca I can't see from sitting basically down in that seat and the phone's way up here. As I'm getting up and walking to the phone, I can see the comments now. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys being here with me today. 
even if it was crazy and I know it was going on and off and everything else, but I really do appreciate you hanging out. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.